G'day, my name is George, and today I'm going to take you through a virtual tour of the car before you here, which is the 2019 Toyota Hilux. It's the Rugged X model. It's the four cylinder turbo diesel, 2.8 cubic capacity. It's an automatic diesel. Now, I'm going to take you through the car, all around it, inside and outside, give you a full look at the vehicle. What we work on on these videos is transparency. We try and show you absolutely everything on the car. If there is any damage to it or any, any stone chips or any scratches, we will bring them to your attention along with all the accessories and the extra features that it might have as well. Give you a full look at it. Just before I do that, give you a little look at us. We are Pacific Toyota. We're based in North Queensland, Cairns. We are one of two pre-owned sites here in Cairns. We carry combined just over 200 vehicles at any given time. This is our main yard here at 235 Mulgrave Road. I'll just give you a quick look around. All these vehicles that we have here obviously are for sale and we do offer flexible finance on any vehicle you're looking at. And we also accept trade-ins of all kinds from all places. Now, I'll just give you a look across the road here. This is our new vehicle site for Toyota and also for Lexus with the showrooms up there. And we also have our service and our parts department just across the road here as well. So we are a fully fledged dealer. We are number one in Queensland for volume. We are a heavyweight dealer and we're number six in the entire of Australia. So we're quite a big dealership. Uh, even though we're up here in Cairns, we do a lot of business. Now I'm going to take you through the car, that's why you're here. So I'll start at the front of the car. Now this is the Rugged X. It does have a lot of accessories, so let me take you through it. You notice on the window here, just before I touch on that, it does say 72,990. They have reduced the price drastically. It's 69,998 drive away at this moment in time, which is fantastic for the buyer. Now I'm going to take you through the bull bar. It's where we, we expect to see a lot of the kind of brushes and stuff. There is a little bit of brush on there. They've brushed up against something. Looks like maybe a bush or something. It's taken a little bit of the black off there. This is the standard on the car for this car. We do have a light bar tucked in here as well. Very well hidden. You have your to a safety sense through the radar cruise control in here as well behind the badge. I'll tell you more about that when we get inside. They've added additionally a bond protector on this. We do have the rugged stickers on here as well. Which give it that really nice look about it. We do have the to a bash plate underneath with the recovery hooks. All standard on this model being the rugged X. We have the fog lights which have the very cool X in there as well. Obviously the headlights got daytime running lamps on there as well. I'll take you through a little bit of the paintwork on the bonnet here, just give you a try and give you a close up so you can see the general condition of it. Not expecting to see too much on this vehicle, it's probably more about the features to be honest, this vehicle, being that it is fairly new. And uh, yeah, it certainly it's got a lot of lot of features and accessories to talk about. So we do have the Rugged X rims on here, which is different to the standard Hilux rims. We have the all-terrain BF Goodrich tyres, which if you know your tyres are very sought after. We've got the black uh, ore guards here, which are again additional to the Rugged X. We've got the blacked out Hilux badge, kind of silver satin. Blacked out mirrors, blacked out door handles to colour code with the keyless entry option here on both sides. You have the rails down the side again with the door mouldings. These are all additional features that are only on the Rugged X. And on the back we have a canopy. We have roof racks on the canopy. We have roof racks on the top of the car as well. All these are genuine Toyota accessories. And again, plenty of tread on these tyres. The rim's in great condition. A little bit of scoring here on this. Just a, a light brushing on this rim. Like I say, we bring everything to your attention. We don't try and hide anything in these. The idea is that we show you everything about the car. Uh, give you a look from the back here. You've got the blacked out tail lights with the surround. You've got the steel bar on the back. You've got the, the tow bar, which is standard. Now, the, the, the person before has been towing with us. We have the electrics kit here, but he's removed the plug, so it will require a plug and the tow bar tongue as well to go in, which you can purchase from Toyota as a genuine accessory. You've got the recovery hooks on the back as well. Try and give you a look underneath there. Give you a quick look in the back. Now this canopy, really nice canopy, it does work on the central locking of the vehicle. I have the keys here in my pocket, which is brown to attention. So they are two keys for the vehicle and two keys for the actual tailgate to lock the tailgate as well. Uh, central lock on the vehicle, if I unlock the car, the canopy will open. When I lock the car, it locks with it. And if I give you a look inside here, so we've got the, the, the liner on the floor to protect the base. This canopy does open out on both sides as well, I'll show to you. Inside here we do have some charging points, it's a King's kit with the voltage reading for the dual battery. Uh, we have two 12 volt charging points and also two USB ports as well. One's a fast charging, one's a normal one amp. 
Let's open up the tailgate, just give it a full view so you can see everything. Car's in great condition, um, really nothing to report too much. Whoever's had this has really taken care of it. Um, I dare say they probably didn't want to get rid of it, <laughs> but uh, they spent a lot of money on getting it ready, so someone else's benefit. To open up these side windows, as I've just found out, there's a little button just tucked in the side here. Put your hand in here, push that, and it pops the side button. They open up, I'll just unlock the car so I can do that for you timed out when I did it last time so once you unlock the car you push the button pops the sides here and these open up as well again these work on the central locking of the vehicle you lock the vehicle the canopy locks as well we jump around to the other side again push this button here pops the side opens up effortlessly fantastic canopy great condition I'll just take you around the sides here I'll give you a look down the side panel as well the vehicle keeps locking because I timed it out with the unlock. If I open the door, it will take that away. Just give you a look at the tyre here again. Plenty of plenty of tread on these. The rims are in great condition. Just give you a look on the side. I'll give you a look on the inside as well. Now, being the rugged exit, it does have the upgraded interior with the leather interior, which has heated front seats as well. But in generally, the condition you've got aircon in the back, we've got mats on the floor. Genuine Toyota. We've got the blacked out roof as well, which looks amazing on the interior. A lot of them have the sort of beige looking or ivory looking interior. All black leather. Obviously, a cup holders when you need them. Car's in great condition. Just give you a look over everything speakers, electric windows, everything works perfectly. The driver does have the master controls for the windows, the mirrors. The mirrors fold in as well when you want to, or you can leave them out. Locking, everything's controlled there. Driver does have electric seat as well for adjustment when you want it. Give you a look at the interior. Now I've left the service book out here purposely. I'm going to just take you through that and give you a bit of information on that as well. I'll just jump in here and I'll start the engine up. So foot in the brake, push button start. Power back every time. Okay, so I'm going to turn this aircon down a little bit. Okay, so my door's still open in the back there. Okay, perfect. So I'll just show you the, so obviously the only lights that you can see on are the handbrake light, because we're not going anywhere, and also my seat belt is not on, so we're not, obviously the seat belt light's on as well. Um, you've got the multi-information display there, as you can see it's done 20,673 kilometers. You have all your audio and telephone accessories from here. To a safety sensor, this controls your multi information display, which is in the center here. And you've got your lane departure alert, radar cruise sensor, and your, your cruise control. The radar helps keep the distance between you and the car in front, and the lane departure will stop you from going off the white lines on the road, left or right. You've got your cup holders right in front of the vent on both sides, driver and passenger. Your head unit here. Uh, it does have satellite navigation being the top model. It's all touch screen, so one touch and you're in. It takes you straight into wherever you want to go. Full sat nav in there, for instance. If I go into my apps, navigation, audio, telephone, text messages can be set up as well. Eco, all about how the car's driving, what kind of fuel consumption you're using. You can customize a lot of stuff through setup here. And you also have Toyota Link for all these, ad these uh, apps here as well. So if you download Toyota Link to your phone, you can then utilize these apps as well. You have air conditioning, it's climate control, so you can adjust it by 0.5 of a degree, as you can see. Uh, you do have the auto function as well, so if you want it to be 20 degrees in here, push auto and it will increase the fan for you. When it gets to 20 degrees, it backs the fan off again. So, turn that down just so you can hear me a little bit. It's super cool, super cold, which is great for this climate, certainly in Cairns. Uh, all, your, all your average um, air conditioning functions are here, obviously where you want the direction of flow to be. Very easy to set up. Now it's full four wheel drive, so you've got high two, high four, and low four, all electronic. We do have two charging ports here. We have heated front seat for the passenger, heated front seat for the driver. We have USB and AUX connection here. Traction control, downhill assist control, rear diff lock, all standard on the car. We have eco driving mode and power driving mode, very self explanatory. Obviously automatic when we go into reverse, 
you get the nice camera comes up straight away how clear is that you can see the bumper bar and when the tow bar is there you can see the tow ball as well which really helps when reversing to the trailer but very clear very wide view doesn't do it any justice in a tight car park for sure but when you're out in the open it gives you a nice wide view of what's going on around about you uh, you also have inside here your 220 volt 100 watt socket which is like an inverter if you look at that see if i can put my phone in there for you the standard plug socket uh, and the service book, let me take you through here, I just wanted to give you a look. Now, I can't show you who the previous owner was because this is going on a on a public platform to be viewed. So, I can't tell you it was privately owned, so I can't give you the guy's name. Um, so, six months or 10,000 Ks, whichever comes first is when the servicing is due. First one was carried out at 10,019 New England Toyota. And the second one was 19,381 again at New England Toyota. We've done 20,673, so only just been serviced. All the books that came with the car originally are in here as well, along with the service book. We do have the second glove box here, which actually has a cooler box as well. There is a vent here you can open and close, taps into the air conditioning, becomes a cooler box when you want it. Uh, let me tell you more about this vehicle. So we do have over here the Red Arc braking, which is still here. Obviously needs to be wired up at the back. Uh, you've got your automatic high beam headlights, your, sorry, your, uh, the, the light bar and the, the bull bars, what I meant to say, sorry. You've got the idle up for colder climates, doesn't really affect you too much. And you've got your uh, DPF on off. Now it, it will perform an automatic burn off with DPF, so you don't really need to use that, but it is there if you want to do it manually. Headlights are automatic, put it on auto, you'll never need to touch it again. And wipers are on this side here. Just give you a quick look around the interior before I jump out and you look under the bonnet as well. I see this car is absolutely brand new condition, nothing to report damage wise. It's in great condition. The person who puts on the name in this vehicle is going to be very happy with it. Give it a good look around. I'll jump out, I'll take you under the bonnet and give you a look in there as well while it's running so you can see everything about it. I'll try and lift the bonnet with just the one hand. Okay. So really, absolutely, ex exactly what you're expecting to see in here. It's very clean, it's very tidy. It's never missed a beat in the service. We do have the dual battery set up in here as well. All from the RV. The red up towing down here as well. It gives you all the information on the, the charging status. The ACDC and also the, how does the the, the, in, in the back, the what's the word I'm looking for? The accessory sockets in the back. All powered from here. Give a good look around. It's clean, it's tidy, it's like brand new. Absolutely nothing to report of any, any sort. Give you a look around the top as well. I say whoever buys this car is going to be extremely happy with it. Let's pop that down. So that is the car, it's the 2019. It's the Rugged X. Like I say, it has been reduced from 72,990 down to 69,990. There is tremendous value in it. You won't see another one like it. It's available, 2.8 turbo diesel, rugged X, done 20,000 Ks. If you have any further questions on the car, please ask me. I'll be more than happy to assist. Uh, but otherwise, thank you for watching the, the virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it.